Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Battlefront 2's campaign. So last time we went to Pilio and Luke found a compass. I knew, it was bothering me, I knew I'd seen it somewhere before. It turns out it was on a random piece of packaging. Look at this. So there it is in his hand, and here it is in the game. I'm calling it now, this is our first official tie-in to The Last Jedi. Uh, the compass also gets a brief mention in The Legends of Luke Skywalker. So in one of the stories that takes place on Jakku, Luke rescues an Imperial gunner who's in a downed Star Destroyer. Um, and as a token from them, he receives some items, including a compass found in a case labeled Pilio. Hmm. I thought that was interesting and worth sharing with you guys. Alright, so, on to Chapter 4, The Storm. Let's go. Welcome back, Agent Miko. Traitor. The Admiral needs us to extract an Imperial ally on my home I'm world of Vardos. Kill him. The target is Protectorate Gleb, a local official who once mentored both Agent Hask and myself. Gleb, huh? I don't know how this connects to Operation Cinder, but She's I have Inferno to trust squad. the Admiral. The book, Make the jump the to Vardos. So this is where Aiden's from. A lot of orbital stuff. That's the Dauntless. It's the ship we rescued on Fondor. Why is it here? Well, it's delivering cargo. It's carrying those satellites. Moff Wraith said they were needed for Operation Cinder. But he wouldn't tell us the target. Neither would the Admiral. Now I know why. I don't like where this is going. Time to go yell at Dad. Some things never change. The satellites are aligned, sir. Excellent. I did not call for you, Commander Versia. Vardos is our target? One of them, yes. Why? The entire planet and its people, they're, they're loyal to the Empire. The Emperor commands it. We'll purge this planet and others. Fear shall spread and the galaxy will remember who is in control. This is our home. The Empire is our home. And we will do as the Emperor commands. I don't take orders from dead men. You take orders from me! Activate the satellites now. Oh, they're this. Oh, shit. Damn. Leave for Vardos immediately. Recover Protectorate Gleb. She is your only target. That is all. That is. Man, if looks could kill. I'd be pissed. Contact Agent Hask on the Corvus. Tell him I need to speak to him immediately. It's gonna be a double cross. That's what it's looking like. Feel good about this mission. We'll find Protectorate Gleb in the archive. Follow me. Do you still remember your way, Commander? I don't forget so easily, Agent. Mm. This storm is unnatural. The Admiral spoke to Hask, and now he doesn't trust Aiden anymore. Terrified. This yeah, the storm is pretty bad. When people see what we've done here, that terror will spread throughout the galaxy. I'm just surprised we aren't evacuating. Civilians are expendable. Our people will evacuate first. These are our people. This is an imperial world. A place we're supposed to protect. Reassignments will be communicated. The rainy 
miserable planet. It's gotta be awkward, man. There's a. Uh, she's really mad at her dad, and there's a huge statue of him right in the middle of the courtyard. We've put our troopers in harm's way as well. Well, I can win all the two. Their fearlessness in the face of this storm shows true discipline. But Gleb deserves an early evacuation, does she? Gleb oversees the future Imperial Leader School here. She crafts loyal, capable troopers. Like I do. Like me. <sighs> now she's calling it a favor. The people of Vardos. Empire. The Empire is famously xenophobic, so I always thought it was weird that they had a aqualish female commander. teaching all of their new stormtroopers. None of this looks good to me. Vardos was our home. Man. Yes, there are exceptions, though, the like Thoron. The Empire is our home. Operation Cinder is a test to prove that we are worthy of what it will become. You sound like my father. Maybe that's because I listened to the Admiral's orders. Don't forget the chain of command, Agent. Seriously. Go ahead, Commander. It's about time. There she is. I did verse you. Admiral sent you. I knew I was important, but to risk his own daughter's life. Target acquired. Get a move on, Gleb. Oh, she is giving me orders now. Precious. Whoa, 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 get... <laughs> I need Gleb so much. The others will stay here. They are not important. Come. Oh, shit. Commander. We have a ship on landing bay two. You'll be safe there. Go, go now. Go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? No, no, stop. Ah! Stop. This is not our mission. Stand down. It's okay. We'll get you off world. Go. No, no, no. Don't you. No. I am your commander. Stand down. I do not. Our orders are clear. We are to recover the Protectorate Gleb alone. Things have changed. Look around you, man. Do you even recognize the Empire Del, anymore? No, please don't do this. The Just Empire's do this. job is to save civilians from things like Operation Cinder. This is the new Empire. This has me very worried. If this you guys. is the new Empire. I want no part of it. God damn it. I'm taking the orders of my commanding officer. Are these your orders? Are these your orders? Because if they are, this is treason. Yeah, right. What is your orders? Yes. God fucking damn it. Then I have no uh. Lower your weapon. Defines will be the death of you. God damn it. I move us here. Commander Versio and Agent Miko have abandoned the mission they've committed treason. Man, just Versio. once. Just once of like an actual Imperial Return story. To me. Without goddamn mission. defection to the rebels. I will take care of the traitors. There's a passageway on the other side of the plaza. That's our way out. I'm with you, Commander. Hold your fire. If they spot us, we're in trouble. So now we're a couple of traitors. Well, that's just great. We're too exposed. We need to get out of the open. Inferno is close. Keep an eye out. They don't see us. Let's keep it that way. The storm is picking up. We need to get off this planet. 
think we got lucky. Come on, into the passageway. We have to reach the Corvus and get out of Imperial space. It's our only chance. You heard your father. They'll shoot it down before we can leave. This is very bad. Keep it together, Agent Nico. We have civilians on the Corvus relying on us. We don't have Imperial comms anymore. The Corvus won't even know we're coming. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's cool, you can see the AC AC through the window. Alright, looks clear. You ready, Dell? Let's go, Jesus. Oh shit! Nope. Well, we tried. Go loud. I hated having to do that. We've been sentenced to death. We protect ourselves or we die. Yes. We can shut down the anti-air systems ahead. Following your lead. It's a lot of troopers. I want that sheep. I don't know that. Thank you for your service. Get him. Fire! Enemy heavy weapons ahead! Shooting at something. Escaping ships. We're not the only ones searching for safety. Slice it. This way. Stay quiet and they won't see us coming. Understood. Wait for my mark. Troopers in this area. Maintain cover. We're gonna steal an ATAT. -AT. We're gonna do what now? Oh, this is about to get all kinds of out of hand. Go 
for the shot. I'm so sorry exactly. to all of you and going to the that die like this. We'll disable every AA in the sector. Any chance of clearing our names and becoming Imperials again yes, is now Commander. solidly out the I'm window. With you. No matter what they doing say. this shit. Careful in that storm. ATSC. Cool. Well, the crew has I stayed loyal to us, cannons. so that'll make I'll it easier to escape. I can't believe how far the Admiral is willing to go. Following his orders. His orders aren't good enough. Exactly. Neither were ours. We need to get the civilians off Vardos. Then what? First, we get out of Imperial space. Then we come up with a plan. Walker on Walker Act. Keep blasting it, we've got 
Off the that guy moves into my path and we're screwed. Ugh. There we go. Commander! Well done, Commander. Commander, I need you to blast that wall. We're almost out of this. Storm reminds me a lot of uh, Bendu's cloud attack. That armor's too strong for glasses. They'll do everything they can to keep us grounded. Just get me in the corpus. I'll fly us out of here. Take out that walker somehow. I don't see a rocket launcher anywhere though. Just like Cinder in Shattered Empire. It's crazy. Admiral Vasio. Agent Husk reporting. Mission accomplished, sir. Shut up, Gleb. Congratulations, Commander Has. I mean, it's what he wanted, but not like this. So, we're not completely alone. Some of the crew stayed with us. 
protected the refugees against those who wouldn't. How are they? Shaken. Confused. But safe. No, I didn't. He meant the refugees. Just want to know what's next. We have to warn people. Who? The rebels? They're just going to toss us in Sunspot Prison before we can even say a word. Sunspot Prison? Nice. That's why I think you should just take the Corvus and go. Leave me a TIE fighter. I'll set off a distress call. Wait for the rebels to find me. You really think I'm gonna let you just float out here alone? If Del really wants to hang out with Luke again. Del. We're Infernal Squad. You and me. Are you kidding me? Another rebel defection story. Another one! I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty disappointing. I was really looking forward to being able to play a fully Imperial story from start to finish, but I guess that's too much to ask. Now, you know, this is probably just because I'm an idiot, but I felt the same way when The Force Unleashed came out. It was marketed as, like, the stories of Vader's secret apprentice, which to me means hunting down Jedi, killing him, using the Force, good stuff. And then he ends up, like, founding the Rebel Alliance? No. I am still very much enjoying the story itself. I'm just, you know, it's just a tough pill to swallow. We got a couple little tidbits of continuity in this uh, chapter, like they mentioned Sunspot Prison, which you'll remember from the Rebel Jail arc of Marvel Star Wars. We also had to put up with more of Gleb, who was in the companion novel to Battlefront 2, and who I hate very much. I will be posting a video for each chapter of the playthrough as I make my way through the campaign story, so stay tuned for those in the coming days. I want to know what you guys think about this uh, Imperial Defection storyline. Let me know in the comments below if you're as disappointed as I am, if you actually enjoy the storyline better now that Iden is becoming a rebel, or you don't care and you're just happy to have some more Battlefront. Either way, let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to check out my channel for more awesome Star Wars content. Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, may the Force be with you.